Welcome to Dark Sorcery. I'm Alfredo Martinez, and I have with me Katna Willis. And today we're going to be talking about the subject of Buddha. Isn't that right, Katna? That is right. As, um, as Buddha goes, there are a few different varieties of Buddha, and, and everyone keeps getting mixed up on uh, which ones. So we're going to talk about the two main Buddhas that um, we can uh, use, anyone can use in uh, spell work or um, uh, any rituals. Um, it doesn't matter which religion you're from, you can still use uh, uh, um, the Buddha. Uh, there is one Buddha that Alfredo has. It's the uh, God of Happiness and Prosperity. Yes, that is him right there. And uh, with him, it doesn't matter if you are a prostitute, a murderer, or a thief, or how dark you are, you can still use that Buddha one right there for prosperity and happiness because it is known in the Chinese Taoist society that he came down and helped murderers or the thieves to get to enlightenment as well as to find their right of path as well as they can. he also grants their wishes. So it doesn't matter who you are. You can be the most darkest person. You could be a demon or a jinn. This guy will come and help. So you can call upon this Buddha right here, the God of prosperity. He is the God of happiness and prosperity. And uh, yes, you can uh, put him into your rituals and, and, and call whatever you want for prosperity because he will help you out of all gods because most gods, as you know, in the pagan world, they do they deal with light magic and light, the light way only, as you know, Alfredo, you know. But this Buddha, it doesn't matter how dark you are, he will still grant your wish. So it is good to use him. It will put him in your home, like on a window seal, to keep your house with happiness. Um, even though you're a pretty dark person, if you're a dark person, you know, it still makes you happy. He still, the point yeah. is, he'll make you happy. So, yeah. And uh, the aura that that bring that um, that he gives out is happiness. So uh, put him not, not next to a window would be good. Uh, give him some... Um, Blessings, you know, like uh, alcohol, because this Buddha here is not a typical Buddha that you would know. He, in his days, he actually drank wine, drank alcohol, and he ate meat. He used to go and steal other people's farm stock, kill it, and eat their meat. So this Buddha here is a pretty. So he, he was he made, but he makes everything into a joke. So he makes everything into a laugh. That's why he is the god of happiness. Because wherever he goes, he turns whatever situation it is, he makes you see the brighter side of things. So it's good to have him in your home. So Yeah. I mean, I've, I've noticed a difference. I mean, I myself, I keep him um, on my window, uh, give some offerings. Um, and yeah, I, I notice a difference where, you know, whenever I need something, it's there. My needs are provided. And that's partly due to uh, having the Buddha in my home, Buddha of happiness and prosperity. Yes, and uh, the other Buddha that everyone gets mixed up of is Siddhartha, which is this guy right here, or a bigger picture, if you want to know what he looks like, right here, all right? And he's sitting on a reptilian snake, okay? So you've got that, or he's sitting on a lotus flower. You, know, you get varieties of what he's sitting on, or he's lying down on a lotus flower. But um, this Buddha, the one, this one right here, is totally different to the one that Alfredo has got in his screen, okay? The one on his screen is, the, is a follower. He was part of the God's world, so he was part of the, all of the nine gods, all of that. But when Buddha managed, or this Buddha right here, his name is Siddhartha. He was the prince of Egypt, uh, India, sorry. He was the prince of India. He gave up everything, his throne, his, because he was about to become the king of India. But he decided, get rid of it all. He don't want it. Because his mission was to escape the Matrix, and he managed to do so. And with the help of the Chileans, and that's what you see with the snakes around him and everything, that's got nothing mm -hmm. to do with other, a lot of Asians and a lot of Chinese and Cambodians. They always say, oh, it's the king of Nagas, right? As a scientist, as myself, we look at that as it's not really representing a, a just the one snake. It's actually representing a clan. Reptilians help. Siddhartha escaped the Matrix. And we'll talk about the Matrix in another video, but right now we're just talking about Buddha on different types. So, and when he managed to escape the Matrix, 
the others started to follow because who else doesn't want to escape the matrix? So, <laughs> um, yeah. And, and, and another thing that I was going to mention is the fact that, you know, Buddha never called himself a God. Is that right? No, he never did. He actually stated in his words, I am not a God, which is very respectful actually, because everybody else would have actually said, Oh my God, I'm a God. But he actually said, yeah. I'm a man. I managed, he managed to defeat the gods with mind over matter. So enlightenment, that's what everyone's searching for. Even uh, um, the dark side, they search for to escape the matrix. So that's what we, we all here for, the, for doing magic and everything, trying to find the truth. We want to know the truth. That's what this is all about, as well as we want to know what the world and what the universe is offering us, and we want to learn from it. We don't want to be hidden away. So... For these videos, this just because we do dark sorcery and we do pagan magic, that doesn't mean that we can still use other gods or Buddhas to do spell work too, because it's all the same. same. When you look in the matrix, you see it's a web. Everything is joined up energy to energy, right? What we're trying to do is manipulate, manipulate the system, okay? So as in the matrix, you can manipulate the system. So, and uh, to... For and well, for, for that Siddhartha, he managed to escape the matrix. For this Buddha that Alfredo's got, he was just so intrigued by what this man can do that he followed, and then that's how he ended up being Buddha's follower. And Buddha has a lot of other followers too that all other gods, and we'll get into that later because they've all got different powers and all different things that anyone can use them, so and pray to them or whatever. Yeah, and and they've uh, they're very useful in your your uh, everyday practice and just having them around. Um, yep, it's been a, it's been a good chat chatting about uh, Buddha and uh, be looking out for our next video we're going to do yep. on getting oh, out. Of and one more one more thing I was saying before yeah. about that little Buddha how he's eating meat. This Siddhartha one doesn't eat meat, so there's that's the yeah. difference as well because he's all about no violence. You see. That's why you don't really call upon him if you're doing a lot of dark sorcery. You do not call upon Siddhartha to come because he'll just look at you and go, uh huh, yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, he's just gonna turn his blind eye, you know what I mean? But that other Buddha, because he's really funny and he always makes jokes out of everything, he'll yeah. all help out. No matter if you're a pro if you're a prostitute, he'll make you be a happy prostitute. If you're a happy thief, he'll make you be a happy thief. You know? If you're a sad thief, sorry, he'll make you a happy thief. If you're a murderer and you're sad. Yeah, have him around. He'll make the the laughing side come out of it. So, yeah. Yeah, and it's good that you mentioned that because, you know, details like that are not really mentioned when in most discussions when people mention No, Buddha because or... no, it's, it's because of the, the society that we live in is very closed, closed off and a lot of people are unprepared, but that's why you come to Dark Sorcery. We'll tell you everything. So, <laughs> isn't that right? We will. And... Uh, that's it. All we want to know is the right. truth. So now you know the difference wow. between the two Buddhas and yeah. All right. It's been a good chat. It's been a good chat. Um, be looking out for our next video that we're going to do myself and Captain Willis called Exiting the Matrix, Getting Out of the Matrix. So you have a good night, everybody.